Yeah. Now, but um, still, few things are uh, still coming out of that uh, particular uh, competition where uh, we saw Jack Draper yeah. and uh, Pranjala Yadapali yeah. winning uh, for Great Britain and India. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, the tournament director talking about Wale Oladunja has been talking about you know the benefits of this Lagos Open, not just all about Nigerian players, not the players that are coming in, but the fact that those young lads, those uh, are students that come out to watch, you know, what they can learn from this, especially using the story of the 16-year-old Jack Draper, what he was able to do to Tom was remarkable. Let's hear from him now. I just feel that Lagos must host a challenger in the next five years, and that is the uh, the pursuit we are having as a people, as an organization, and as a nation. I I, I want to commend my friends and enthusiasts and. Patrons who have been supporting this dream from 1999. Um, we never need to get to this level, sincerely. Just like Ashwaju mentioned, right on this same premises, 2006, before he left office, 2007, that when I brought this to him, one piece of paper, he never knew it would become like this. That was 12 years back. Now, we added 12 more years. We must only thank God. I want to believe that the partnership we have enjoyed from the media can only get better. Without the media, we haven't been there. And I want to thank you. What we have seen as a, here is a revelation from Draper. It's wonderful. 16 years old, that's why we keep bringing the students here. Maybe one or two of them, of the 3,000, now we've cut down to another by 1,000, will see the need to take to tennis. Absolutely, that's what we're waiting for. In five years' time, we can also wait for it to become mm. the Challengers circuit. That will be bigger and, of course, better. More higher-ranked players will definitely want to come to Lagos mm. to compete in this tournament. Absolutely. And, um, yes, Jack Draper. Yeah. I think, I think really? just like uh, I saw uh, Bonner all those years Charity, ago, yeah. I think you're going to do great things. You know, 16... Yeah and well-developed already like that. He's already serving, ser serving at uh, 120 miles an hour, exactly. you know? So I That's think remarkable. you're going... Yeah, remarkable. So I think you're going to do great things. And I also mentioned uh, perhaps all the school, all the school kids that we're seeing yeah. um, will take inspiration yeah. from seeing a, such a young guy like that, you know, playing and winning uh, and, you know, uh, doing very well on the tennis court. They might just stick to the sports as well too. And uh, you never know who's going to come out of that crowd you never in know. the next few years. Yeah, yeah we never know. Sports has several benefits, and we can go on and on and on and on. Uh, the inspirational effects of sports uh, is just an example of what uh, uh, Olad Joy was uh, talking about there. Let's um, listen to uh, Stanley Danielson as well now. He's also a former Nigerian uh, t Tennis Federation president. He's also been speaking about all the benefits uh, of this Lagos Open uh, economic-wise political-wise, as well as sporting benefits. The impact it's having is more than tennis. It's both economic, it is also to show that Lagos and Nigeria have security, security, uh, the security is stable, and then the political stability is also there, so investors can come. Because it shows that having kept players from 21 countries for two weeks, it means Nigeria is an investor's heaven. So come to invest in Nigeria. That is the investment part and development of tennis itself. I can assure you that, of course, Nigeria have not produced number one in this tournament, but Africa and also the world have produced champions that go after this tournament to become Grand Slam players. That's what we are looking at. And the upgrade to, to, to Challenger is a welcome thing because you've been doing something for 18 years. You should upgrade. I'm, I congratulate them for upgrading, and I'm glad, and we'll continue to be part of this tournament until their kingdom comes. Welcome back to Channel Sport this morning. Wilfred Monk, our sports uh, journalist, joins us now to um, yeah, look ahead to Nigeria's game against uh, Libya 
later tonight. Well, Fred, it's great to have you on the show. Yeah, always a pleasure being here. And many Nigerians are really looking forward to that one after the 4 new dropping of the Libyans in the reverse fixture on yeah. Saturday. But right. let's not um, expect so much. Three points is what I need. Okay. And some have said a point is okay, but mm. I don't think a point will be good. And if we lose this one, then everything we did on Saturday would have been undone in mm. 90 seconds, in 90 minutes, rather. Wow. Wow. Okay, I know you have a lot uh, to say uh, about that uh, situation, but we'll get there uh, in a bit. Uh, let's talk Absolutely. about the Lagos City Marathon. Yeah, Lagos City Marathon. So nice. better and better and better. So, yeah, they have the they have their that were right yesterday. there, press, uh, mm -hmm. press conference by the governor of Lagos State and all dignitaries, those concerned were all there. Those who want to run celebrity runners who want to be part of it were all there and all that. When you see the faces, you know that, hey, some of them are even that they register because registration is open right now. Of they course. want to do uh, make it better and bigger than what they had last year. My sponsors are coming in. Mm. So uh, this is a quick one they're talking about the chairperson legal state sports, sports commission. You had the AFM president. He they was all there. also there. They were mm. all there, you know, talking about uh, the uh, league sponsors and all of them yeah. were there. But then the big news is the fact that what are they going to do? 2019. That's what we need to hear. And let's listen now to uh, the chairman of the Lagos State Sports Commission, you know, unveiling plans for the 2019 edition of the Lagos City Marathon. To ensure that the culture is sustained, His Excellency has approved the construction of a Lagos Marathon village inside the Capital Region. It currently as the headquarters of marathon races in Lagos. And what we have in mind is that there is a vision to have various sectorial marathons. Lagos Women Run, for example, in style of Ola, is coming up next month. In Lagos, in Lagos Women Run. We have the Swan Media Marathon. I think it's a totally one in here as well. It's also coming up in December, I think first of December. And we also at this stage that we're going to be having a pair marathon, eco marathon, and so on and so forth. So we need a coordinating office under the direction of the Lagos State Sports Commission. And that's the vision that led to the reconstruction of that facility within Tesla Balloon to serve as a Lagos Marathon village. Construction of that place will commence anytime from now. Also, for this coming edition, the organizing committee of the marathon has decided to put in place a marathon council that will supervise the 2019 marathon going forward. All right, well, uh, the one uh, 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 we Fred is trying to pick out is the one of the swan. Uh, just yeah. talking about the fact that Lagos journalist wants to be get ready to run. Yes, definitely. And that one is shorter, 12 kilometers, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. And again, is uh, we, we all need this money. We see these guys. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's so what the guy's money, right? Pick up fifty thousand dollars. We've seen it year in, year out. Yeah. You know, a particular guy will come pick it up twice in twelve months. Mm. So I mean, the one for us, we need to know how much involved and all that. So mm. we know what we're really running for. It's all good. But it's in December. <laughs> I've been training for it, though. Right. Uh, really? Yes. Right. Now, okay. Can't you see nice. I'm looking fitter? Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. I mean, so just with every you saw the future and you yeah. started getting ready. So basically, you have a head start mm -hmm. uh, over someone like. Cecilia Obviously. And, and Austin and the likes. I know, add yourself to it. He's <laughs> not looking for money, so you're right. You're right. <laughs> I mean, you're the one looking for a prize money. But interesting, <laughs> um, <laughs> interesting initiatives as well to so talk about the games uh, mm. uh, village as well. So Lagos yeah. yeah. on village. That's Which is pretty cool. I mean, that's the one I was actually interested in, just knowing that, you know, it started so, it started like on a small scale. Yeah. And mm. we knew it's going to get big like this. So having that mm. and also knowing that other things will come, mm. you know, as the tournament mm. progresses. And talking about getting big, we know their target going into 2019 is to attain the the silver status yeah, and so the silver label status and they are pre presently at the bronzer but you look at it uh, just few editions into this yeah it's so quick in such a uh, yeah. short but, space but again time. it's uh, some of the lapses we've witnessed in the okay. previous editions they really need to correct them right. because at the end of every race many athletes will start complaining oh maybe we didn't get this and mm. that we, un we understand that this
those things were provided, but maybe organizational labs, uh, maybe from the volunteers, but they just need to watch that. So at the end of everything, everything goes smoothly, but we really need to commend them how far they've come mm. and with the effort they are putting in, I, I see these guys going places in the near future. Wow, that's it. So mm. uh, 2019 uh, Lagos City Marathon, several thousands of yeah. runners have already registered uh, for the competition and uh, they can't wait for it to, uh, to come.